beverage has really hurt my feelings this time. Vegans, especially the men, are the true definition of pussies. I wish I was as tough as your carnival crowd. Nowadays we have the police and man-made rules, which we call law, to protect the pussies. <laughs> Hang on a minute. What about that time that little girl turfed you out of her restaurant for causing a nuisance? Oh. Did, you, did you get that? I didn't. She didn't, kicked yeah. me there. Yeah, yeah I saw What did she do? That's the police. Business, if the police turn up, I'll get her arrested for that. Yeah, we should actually. I, I... Hello, officer. This tiny little girl just hit me. Bunch of la-las. <laughs> you got knocked the fuck out! Anyway. I digress. The main point of this video is to prove that you, Sverridge, to use your vernacular, are the pussy. I just came across your ridiculous self-defense video that you did a little while back. As a former martial artist, self-defense coach and doorman of 12 years, I thought I'd better put you straight on a few things before you get yourself hurt. All right, I'm sick of all the videos on YouTube teaching people how to fight unnaturally because nobody fights like that in nature. What does that even mean, in nature? Are you saying that we'd all fight differently if we were suddenly transported to the woods as opposed to if we were having a tear up outside a chip shop or in a nightclub? I don't get what you're saying. All of the moves that you use with punching and kicking would do very little good in nature. Maybe the way you punch and kick, you speak for yourself, son. I've got a pretty devastating right hand, whether I'm in the city centre or the rainforest, unless the laws of physics change in the rainforest and nobody's told me. You would take anything you can to throw, any kind of rock, anything that is hard, and you would just throw it. Ah, there's your problem right there. You leave your back foot on the floor. You've got an anchor on. Bring your back heel up off the floor and pivot on the ball of the back foot, allowing your hips to twist around so you can project your body weight through your fist, probably double your power. Here's me from my old self-defense video series to demonstrate. Okay, the power in the strike actually comes from rotation of the hips, the whip of the shoulders. It basically comes from the floor up. So 90% of your power is this, transferring your body weight from the middle onto your front leg. Your back foot, you want to move the ball of your back foot, and your foot wants to be able to rotate to drive this hip in as I discussed, okay? So from here, twist. Okay, so we're getting this action. Try to punch me like you, you would. Dodging straight backwards is never a great idea. An aggressive striker will just steamroll you. Better to cut an angle, giving you an advantage while your attacker has to pivot to face you again. Anybody who is uh, strong, even if it's very strong bones, very strong muscles, you could overpower them by simply jumping on them. Good luck getting through kicking range, punching range, and past their knees and elbows with your hands down and no guard. I noticed your mate even landed a punch on you before you got to him. Yeah. You would, if you would put your arms around them and bite them in the neck. Not only can you not strike, you can't grapple either. He could easily defend the bite by just getting his head in the way. And as you've given him double underhooks, he could toss you to the ground like a rag doll. I'm guessing your jujitsu is probably because man made rules. So he'll probably choke you out or snap one of your arms. And just bite a, bite a piece out. Great self defense advice. You know, if that was to actually work, the carotid artery and jugular vein run right there. I'd rather not go to prison for murder. Or if they try to do something, then you bite them in the nose or bite an ear off. Or you just grab the nose, the ear and just pull it down and they will be in so much pain you will pull the half off because all of our teeth are very sharp even the back teeth <laughs> do you mean those completely flat molars that carnivores lack and herbivores use for grinding down plant matter so it's very easy to bite for humans that's why a lot of people do it when they are really in danger they bite a lot of women do because that's our natural instinct. That's how we actually fight in nature. Can you imagine tribesmen fighting each other with just their teeth? I think he's confused humans with Pac-Man. And usually you would fight till death in nature. And nowadays, nowadays people are afraid of the police and uh, they don't want to get in trouble. So that's why a lot of us fight like this and 
it does hardly anything. Yeah, well, if you just punch with your arm rather than with your whole body, what do you expect? With good body mechanics, it's easy to slap somebody unconscious, let alone punching them on the jawline. Of course, you could get lucky 5% of the time and knock somebody out. <laughs> Apparently, some of us are luckier than others. You got knocked the fuck out, man! Here's the playlist for my old set of self-protection videos if you want to give that a look. My advice is to learn how to fight, so hopefully you don't have to. Most attackers are cowards and just pick on those that seem scared of them. So if you look more confident, you'll be less of a target. You'll know your fighting ability is good when you're more scared of what might happen to the attacker than what they might do to you. This is a good reason why it's best to avoid fighting if at all possible. Click this video now to see Sverridge trying to bite Conor McGregor at punching range. Jesus.